passing of Laoshe Ten Lo. Thanks to all of you who have gathered in memory and recognition of Laoshe Ten Lo. There is so much that can be said about this extraordinary Taiji teacher who refused to be called a master, yet who, in his unique internal skills and in his teachings, definitely touched mastership. I believe the source of his gifts and teaching came from his deep love of and respect for this awesome art called Taiji Chuan, of which he often said that he just had the good fortune to learn from the master of five excellences, Professor Dunman Jane. Our good fortune has been to receive the gift of Taiji camps and workshops that Ben developed and taught all over the world, from Norway, Sweden, Holland, and Israel, to places throughout the United States. Through these camps and workshops, he passed on the incredible knowledge and wisdom of this art's rich and valuable legacy, a legacy to which it is not easy to gain access. Through these venues, he taught us the secrets, the principles, and also how to practice. Teaching us how to practice has been so important to me. In teaching us to practice, Ben taught us how to embody the principles, to instill the principles in our bodies, and eventually in all aspects of our everyday lives. Ben's practice led us not only to think the principles, and not only to follow them, but to think, follow, and experience the principles simultaneously. At his camps and workshops, we also got to see and experience the wonderful and sometimes magical things Ben would do with his mind and body, allowing us a glimpse into this awesome possibilities of this art. And in doing the work, he would take us to places within ourselves and beyond ourselves where we gained access to a capacity we had no idea we were capable of. In this way, changing the possibilities of who we could become and what we could be in this lifetime. Often referred to as Taiji Boot Camp, to get through a Ben Lo Taiji Camp required accomplishing a lot. But even though the camps were serious, Ben manifested a unique love and lightheartedness that balanced the heaviness of the work and he could be so funny as we laughed through our sweat. Ben and his attitude fostered something unique in those camps. We learned to work extraordinarily hard. Ben said Professor would say that Taiji is Henan, for, forgive my pronunciation, very difficult. That's the way of martial arts. We train with the push hands, training through the difficulties and challenges that the martial arts present. And at the end of training, coming together to be held in Ben's arms, energetically filled with love and compassion that enabled us to honor and respect each other as brothers and sisters on this incredible journey along this Taiji path together. Ben taught us and gave us independence in how to train and do our own practice and how to be in community, how to train together. Such a gift he left us. There is so much that can be said about Lao Shi Ben Lo. We are so fortunate to have been in the light of his son and to have felt its nurturing warmth. Near the end of his life, Ben asked me to share his wish for us all, to wholeheartedly practice this art in the way he has instructed us, using the principles with devotion and dedication. I am wishing all of us the best path through processing our great loss. Thank you for celebrating Laosha with honor and love at this event. A special thanks goes out to Joanne for creating this important remembrance for Laosha Ben Lo, Laosha's student and your classmate, Lindsay J. Williams. Uh, my name is Len Kennedy, as you heard. Uh, uh, maybe is there something I should say? To no, no, it's good. Uh, 
So I first met Ben in uh, 1981, uh, you know, maybe six months after I started studying Tai Chi. Um, actually, I didn't want to study Tai Chi. I wanted to study Bakwa and Shinin. I loved it from the first class. I loved it. That was the first thing that Tai Chi helped heal in my life. You know, it's now almost 40 years later, my knee is fine. The surgeons wanted to operate, didn't operate. Just do Tai Chi, don't do Bakwa, it's not good for you. Big lesson, it only took me 30 plus years to get it. But that's Ben, and he just said, just do it. <laughs> just do it, you know. Don't whine, don't complain, just do it. Uh, so, and I met him through Mr. Smith, his good friend, his very, very good friend. Uh, what, what I'd like to say uh, won't be long. Uh, Lindsay talked about this path, this experience that we're all sharing. Uh, I, my wife, Ellen, who can't be here because she's not feeling well today, found a poem that I think is a great poem, really applies to Taiji. Traveler, there is no path. Walking makes a path. Ben was walking on a path that he discovered through his experiences as a professor in life. We were walking on a path, I was clueless. Fortunately, I had met Ben, my hurt knee got healed. Now I'm walking a path, we're walking a path. In that path, we find out who we really are, our inner being, our true purpose, how to connect with others, be with others, and be one with the Tao. So I would just like to say to everyone that's here, thank you for being here. Thank you for practicing. Never, never stop practicing. Uh, and uh, Ben once told me, uh, you know, just do your best. And then the next day, do your best. That's the way. It's the only way. Thank you.